Hey guys, Brian with Beastride. So this is a sponsored video. Pura Systems, I think otherwise known as Allure Air, sent me this Pura Systems air filtration unit. It's the 500 IG filtration unit. So we're gonna open it up, give it a review, check it out, and I'll let you know what I think. Oh, we got another box. So this is what it looks like here. And as I said, this one was sent to me here by the Pura Systems company. It's got the manual on top here foam piece here on the top, plastic bumpers on the sides. It's got a handle on the top here. We'll just lift it out. So this is what it looks like here. That's the front display panel. You've got the side and that's the back here. This is where the outer filter is and it should have two inner filters as well. And we'll of course check that out. And it's also got a box with the hardware here. I'm guessing this is the remote and hanging hardware. So we'll open up the inner box. Take a look at this here. That's what that looks like. So you've got your remote and from what I was reading up it can um, you can use this remote up to 26 feet. So if you've got a big garage, a powder room, anything that's going to be dusty um, and you want to use it on that you sure can. It comes with two batteries. That's always nice. It looks like these are two mounting clips. There's four total mounting clips here. And then this looks like it's hardware here to hang it from some studs in the ceiling if you want to go that route. You can also mount this to a desk or a garage, um, like a workbench or something, and you can just have it run like that as if you don't want to hang it as well. And then it shows the different parts of it and the key features here. So let's see if we can open this up here. This, these clips just kind of pull away like that. And then it has an air filter here. And I would assume this just comes out. So the dust particles flow into this. That's what the inside looks like there. And then on the inside, it's got two more filters here. So if anything misses that first go round, it's gonna collect in these filters here. And these are held in with a metal frame. This is just sits in here like that and it pops out and that's what that looks like and you can see the inside there and I'm guessing that in there is the motor the ionizer so we will put this back in for now we'll go ahead and put this back in as well the air filter you've got the control panel on off speed and this is the power cord and this is the air outflow here so the air is going to be coming out of this way basically. If you're doing a lot of spray painting, airbrush, ah, airbrushing, things like that, those fine particles from the spray paint, they can kind of suck those in and take care of those. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So that's pretty powerful. It's blowing out a considerable amount of air here. I'll show you. Let's see if I have some paper. So it's blowing out quite a bit of air and it's sucking it in on the back side here. I can feel it kind of sucking in on this back side. I'm going to press it once. Okay, so it was on, I think it was on high. So this is low speed. It's still pretty, I can feel it all the way out here, two feet or so. So that's low, you can press it on mid, that's mid speed. High speed, that's what it was on. That's pretty powerful. I'm gonna turn on the ionizer with this. The remote here has a button for it, so let's turn that on. So the ionizer just came on. And I think the idea with the ionizer, if anyone doesn't know, is I think the idea basically is, you know, charged ions will come out and they will basically attach to dust particles, making them heavier to not be in the air weighing them down is that's that's my understanding but we'll go ahead and turn that off press the ionizer again that turns it off this is kind of cool it has an add and subtract button so that's what these arrows are on this and what that does is you can adjust the runtime by adding one hour for each key press and subtract an hour for each key press maximum timing is 12 hours minimum is one hour so let's try that out. So I'm gonna press time. 
and that I guess that means it looks like one hour and we'll go up okay so it beeps a little bit and then it goes to three hours so I guess you can set it if you've been running if you want to just let it run for three hours and turn off so you gotta leave you're not gonna be home you can just do that and it's gonna cut off after three hours which is a pretty cool feature you can also control this with the remote control it's got a speed button on there you can see that we'll just press it once low mid and then high you can see it says 259 so that's gonna run for another two hours and 59 minutes it's got the easy grip handle here you can use that if you need to carry it around to different shops or something like that. It's a good idea. I've never used like an air purifier in um, a workshop. Before. Definitely be a good idea. I've always just used the face mask. Each pure system is covered by a one year uh, warranty. And like I said, I'm gonna just have this on a tabletop. I'm not gonna be hanging this from the ceiling, but I wanted to go ahead and just do a quick test. Well, we got this running, might as well cut some wood. Let's go ahead and cut a little bit here. So I mean, it's kind of hard to tell unless you're doing a lot of cutting. Cloud of sawdust here. It looks like it was kind of moving this way towards it, so. And I think I would have to give it quite a bit of time to re review it fully with cutting a lot of projects. I mean, I can physically feel the suction power here. I'll tell you what, this is what I'll do. See, it's sucking the paper. So I just had the paper, I just had a sheet of paper. And if you just kind of creating suction, if it's sucking the paper towards it and sticking on there, you know, even if I kind of move it up like that. So you've got suction into a filter, that's gonna do the trick. And I think this would make a good addition to your workshop, to your garage, things like that. And again, it's the company's Pure Systems and this is the Pure Care 500-500 IG. I might be wrong, but I think the IG is regarding the ionizer since it says lower tier products don't have that option. But go ahead and check out in the de um, description. I'll put a link for this product. I'm thankful for Pure Systems for sending it for me to give it a review here. And I'll put a link for the um, filters as well. It looks like on Amazon it did get four and five star ratings, I think as an average. So. That's pretty good. Amazon, I usually go to and check things out if I'm curious about if it's good, bad, etc. So check it out for yourself if you think it's a good product. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hope you have a great day and God bless.